Hi, many CS students coast through college, mainly focusing on passing their classes and graduate with no internships. And they wonder how they're gonna find a job. Not only saying this because this happened to me, okay, that's exactly why I'm saying this, but if I knew what I knew now, I know I would have been able to find the tech stack that I truly liked much sooner and also have been able to get at least one internship. If you're new here, I'm currently a junior full stack software engineer that's been working for around two years. And here is my advice. Advice number one, failing a class is not the end of the world. Such a dramatic title. So I went to community college and I transferred to UC Irvine as a computer science major. I had to take one of the intro classes because my credits didn't cover it. This class was called ICS33 and it was in Python. It was considered one of the weeder classes, which means that it's supposed to be difficult and make you want to change majors. There was a quiz and a homework every single week and I really struggled with the amount of work. I never had to program this much before. I was spending all of my time on this one class while neglecting my other classes and it felt like I was just drowning and I wasn't even doing that well in this class. After the midterm, I got a below average grade i'm pretty sure it was around a 50 percent you are made of stupid and i started to really question myself am i stupid am i just not cut out for this i feel like i'm a failure this led to me overthinking and thinking some pretty dark thoughts because i felt like i was the only one that was struggling and everyone else was doing well so i ended up telling my classmate at the time about all of my struggles he told me that he was also struggling and he was pretty sure that other people were too he reassured me that i was doing a good job and that we will pass the class together and his words gave me enough encouragement to stop overthinking and i thought that i'll just keep trying and if I don't pass I'll just retake this class it'll be fine I shouldn't think that I'm gonna fail before I even do so there was actually a large curve at the end of the class and I ended up getting a B minus which was a lot better than what I thought I would get you are made of stupid and after that class every other class wasn't as difficult except maybe that assembly language class but I think the main reason that it wasn't as difficult was because I didn't doubt myself anymore and I wasn't scared of failing coding classes are difficult and everyone struggles when learning how to code even if it doesn't seem that way if you're not doing too well don't be too hard on yourself I've never been really good at school, but I've always found working to be much easier. Advice number two, focus on a tech stack and build a portfolio. CS classes are more theoretical, while what you do on the job is more practical. To find out if you'd even like to code, you should build an application that you've always wanted to build. In college, I thought I wanted to be an iOS developer, and I've always wanted to build an app to find a random restaurant around me, because it's so hard for me to choose what restaurant I want to eat at. So I spent one of these summers learning from a Udemy course, and I was able to build this app and deploy it to the app store. But after that, I didn't really code that much in my free time. I didn't realize until later that it was because I just didn't like building iOS apps. In my last class before I graduated college, I did a project where we could choose our tech stack and I ended up choosing React. When I started working with it, I knew I wanted to be a React developer. I built front-end websites with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript before, but React just felt so much more intuitive because you can build reusable components and build complex UIs pretty quickly. And that's when I actually started liking coding and I was determined to build a portfolio and find my first job as a React developer. Developer. So the takeaway from this section is that you should try different types of app development to find the one that you truly enjoy, become really good at it, and you can build a portfolio with all of the projects that you created. Building a portfolio is optional, but I think it'll make you stand out compared to a lot of other people because it's something that recruiters can see and it shows that you have passion to learn on your own. Advice number three, join a club. Like the stereotypical computer science student, I struggled with social anxiety, and I know it doesn't seem that way. I mainly had trouble talking to strangers since I was always fine with talking to my friends and family. I knew I had to overcome this if I wanted to pass my interviews, so I ended up joining the Christian club with my friend, even though I wasn't a Christian. So I basically forced myself to talk to a bunch of new people, and I just kept putting myself in an uncomfortable situation. And after around six months, I was pretty much able to talk to everyone, and my social anxiety was completely cured. So while I wouldn't recommend the Christian club, I would recommend the computer science club would be a good way to network and make friends. You could also simulate building applications in teams, kind of like a work environment, but not really because you're all computer science students. And we all know how those group projects go. And I know joining a club might be out of your comfort zone, but like the story that I just shared, to overcome any fear, you just have to be comfortable putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. Advice number four, apply for internships. It's actually really difficult to get an internship, so you need to start preparing as soon as possible. This means building a resume, preparing for technical and behavioral interviews, which unfortunately means grinding leak code, and doing research about behavioral interview questions. And the common ways to apply to internships are through cold applying online or referrals from networking. But I think the easiest way is through your college's career fair. A career fair is an event where companies go to recruit students for internships. So I actually went to my college's career fair, but I went there with no preparation. I conveniently 
conveniently left my GPA off my resume, but a bunch of recruiters asked for it anyway. They told me I needed to have at least a 3.0 GPA, which I didn't have at the time, so I basically got rejected on the spot. There were definitely some recruiters that didn't ask for it, but I got rejected from them anyway. After facing rejection, I felt like I started too late and I just gave up. I thought that I'll just find a job after I graduate because I just couldn't deal with the amount of rejection. But if there's something that I could tell myself back then, it's that throughout life, you'll experience a lot of failure and rejection, and it won't just be in interviews. But the most important thing is to not see failure as a negative, but as something that you must experience to help you learn and grow and reach the goals that you want to achieve. So basically, start preparing early, keep applying, don't give up. Easy. Advice number five, learn how to use Git. In my computer science classes, they didn't actually teach us how to use Git. So in our group projects, we were literally zipping our code files and sending them through email. And as you can imagine, that is really awful, like so bad. My main issue with it was that I couldn't tell which file was even changed. There was a point where I had so many different zips with similar names and I didn't know which one was the real one anymore. I probably should have deleted the old ones after the new one came. And unzipping the files would take such a long time because the files were just so big. So to avoid this, I would suggest learning Git. There are tons of YouTube tutorials out there to learn how to use Git. You can practice Git by putting your personal projects in public repositories on GitHub. I use a combination of Git commands from the command line and GitHub Desktop whenever I'm at work. GitHub Desktop is just a GUI version of Git for GitHub. Every job should have some type of version control, unless it's a really old company or just a really bad job, but you'll have to learn this eventually anyway. And that's all the advice I have for today. I know it seems like we have to do a lot as CS majors, like you have to build projects, build a resume, prepare for interviews, do internships, but I think if you don't put in the effort now, you'll eventually have to put in effort after you graduate and it'll be a lot more difficult at that time. And I wish I started earlier back then because if you start early, then it'll compound over time and it'll be less stressful to look for a job after you graduate because you've already built up all these skills. Anyways, that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.